Hi, I'm Janine, and this is Janine Sews. This is just gonna be a quick video today to show you two quick projects. I know in my last video I told you about several big projects I have underway and they're almost done but it's such a beautiful day I just wanted to come outside and enjoy the Sun and the cool weather and tell you about this top that I made the pattern is new look 6638 I'm gonna pop a picture of it up and it is I guess it's a raglan sleeve dolman sleeve it doesn't have any sleeve seams so it's really a very simple to fit top. It has a tie. It's got um, seaming front and back. And there's some gathering. There's two bits of gathering here at the front and one at the back. And then you add elastic into a casing. Super comfortable to wear, a really easy sew. I think this took me two, two and a half hours to make. And the fabric that I used is a jersey that I picked up at Fabric Mart last year. I had two and a half yards and I still have at least a yard left. So it's a very, um, considering the big pieces that you need, it doesn't use a lot of fabric. I didn't change anything on this pattern. Um, the only thing I did was add a little bit of a crochet loop here to hold the tie in place. The tie comes from the side seams. Um, I did not plan the pattern layout, but it turned out really well. That was just luck of the draw. I was just trying to get it straight, but I, I think it worked out well with how the pattern's placed on it. So this is New Look 6638, and I definitely recommend this. Wore this to work, and everybody said it was so cute. So I think it's a very um, forgiving style. Comfortable, kind of smooths over things. The other thing I want to show you, because it is Halloween week, I made cat costumes, of course. I only did this because I wanted to enter a, con a contest on pattern review, not because the cats really need co costumes, because they have many, but of course the new cat needed his own costume. So I found a cat costume pattern on Martha Stewart's website, and all it really is is a little cat petal collar. I'm going to show you some pictures. They did not enjoy wearing them. But um, I used my Scan and Cut for the first time and drew my design, then ran it through the Scan and Cut to scan it. Oh, here comes a kitty. And uh, then just cut out all the pattern pieces so that everything was exactly the same size. I doubled up fabric and turned it right side out. And then I did a little bit of fabric paint on it just to make it look extra super duper fancy. Because I didn't have enough fabric to make as many petals as they recommended, I just grabbed some sparkly burlap, burlap that I had and added some additional petals in. I'm gonna see if she will actually let you see her with her little collar on. Let's see here. Wonder if she's gonna cooperate. Yeah, she is. Here we go. So, she loves wearing costumes, can't you tell? <laughs> it, doesn't, it, it doesn't pull on her or anything, so it's not really uncomfortable. But I thought they were cute. It was a fun little project. Oh, she loves this. Um, and actually the pattern calls for it to be made out of felt, so a child could make this and then just you just attach the petals to a piece of pattern. Um, the other cat is even less in love with it, but, uh, you know, it's fun. So that's all I have for today. Hopefully next week I'll have a longer video to tell you about my two dresses that I made. 
and frock tails and a quick trip home to Calgary and some fabric that I bought. But uh, just wanted to check in with you on this beautiful autumn day. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I will see you soon.